Welcome to the Regrid Mapping Platform. Today I'm going to do a quick tutorial talking about how to find a field to filter on. So what we're looking at today is basically a situation where you know you want to find properties of a certain type, but you're not exactly sure what to put into our filter field to actually get the results that you want. Uh, obviously we have a lot of data and the data varies county to county. So one of the best things to do is, if you want to find properties of a certain type, uh, but you're not exactly sure, actually find a couple example properties that you care about and then click on them to open up the data. So I'll do this in real time here. Let's imagine that we care about this property that's owned by the city of Omaha. Um, you know, so it looks like a golf course from a satellite image. Uh, what I would basically do here is if I wanted to find similar uh, properties in this area, I'd pull this up. And then I'd start looking through the parcel details to see what kinds of things might work for me here. So, you know, uh, if I cared about the city of Omaha owner, that would be an easy one. Um, but scrolling down a little bit further, uh, you know, we can look and see, okay, so zoning information, uh, you know, single family, that doesn't look like that's going to be helpful here. Uh, and it might actually be misclassified. Um, this one, parcel use description, is often a good one to check because if the county populates that, uh, it often has good detailed information. So this is X government. That's kind of interesting. I might save that one for later. Um, and I'm going to keep scrolling down, you know, so we've got our standardized land use codes. This is another great section to check. Um, here it says city, village, township, etc. That's kind of interesting if I wanted to find city-owned properties, but not just by the specific owner city of Omaha. You know, sometimes it can be Omaha comma city of, et cetera, et cetera. This land use code might help me there. Um, we've got some uh, residential and vacancy indicators here. None of that maybe helps me. Cropland data layer, interesting to know this. Probably isn't gonna be specific enough to get what I want. Structure details, um, interesting, but maybe for our purposes here, not helpful. So having done this quick sort of sanity check, I would probably then look at, say, another couple properties around here to see what the similarities are. So here, uh, okay, so X government is looking like a pretty likely candidate here. And maybe I'll click on another one to see if this has something different. It also says X government. So here, okay, I've seen three properties. Let's imagine that's the kind of property that I care about here. Now what I would do is I would go into filter, parcel use description, and I would start typing in the uh, X government. And you can see once I start typing it in, it'll auto populate, click X government here. Uh, in this sort of, once it turns this gray box, you know that you've uh, got it locked in appropriately. So then I'll hit load on map. And here, wow, so we've actually got a lot of properties. So this probably would have fit the bill if I was looking for these sort of open spaces, sort of city owned adjacent. Uh, I have a really good list here of these 3,900. From here, if I really wanted to get fancier, if I wanted to cut this down, um, I could, of course, put in acreage parameters. So, you know, less than one acre, greater than three acres, all that kind of stuff. Um, I could also look at some of these other ones that I've identified through this filter and see if there's another filter that I might want to put in. So here I'll click on another one that I found through this process. Um, looking pretty much the same. You know, I could now go back in here and I could say, try to find ones that are specifically within the city of Omaha. Uh, or, you know, like just for the sake of illustration, I might actually plug in the city of Omaha specifically and see how that narrows down our field. So you saw that went from 3,000 some, now we're down to 1,700. Uh, so that's a good example of how you find a property, you look at the details, and you sort of reverse engineer the filter that you want so that you can get to a result uh, that is helpful to you.